today's video, we are back at the Crawford County Sportsman's Club, and today we are out here to do the review on the Cox Arms Battle Break. And for the YouTube sensors, yes, this gun is clear. I do have an ECI in it. Now, Cox Arms did send this out to the channel. They wanted me to test this out on the Frontline 16. The Frontline 16 is already a really smooth shooting gun with the buffer system that they're using in it. So we're going to see how much better it is with the Cox Arms Battle Break. Now, if you have not watched the video before this, we did somewhat of an unboxing and an install video. Now, obviously, the video on YouTube is censored. Can't show stuff like that on YouTube. But if you want to go over and check out the Rumble version of that video, I do have a full uncensored install video of the Cox Arms Battle Break. Now, one last thing I want to talk about before we get into the shooting portion of this video, Cox Arms does have an excellent video out on the Battle Break where they put it up against a lot of other high-end muzzle brakes. And at the end of that video, they show you what kind of recoil reduction you are getting with this brake, and it's quite impressive. So I would definitely go over and check that out. And like I said, I'll link that in the description below. All right, here we go. Two alpha. Two alpha, just barely. Two alpha, two Charlie. Not sure what happened there. All right, and our two targets down at the far end, two alpha and two alpha. All right, we got two alpha. Alpha Charlie, two Alpha, Alpha Charlie. All right, our two targets on the far end. We got an Alpha and, man, that's borderline. That's probably a Charlie. And a nice little tight group of two Alpha. All right, I made a slight adjustment up, three clicks up on the optic. Hopefully that'll help with the closer range target. First target, two alpha, two alpha, two alpha, two alpha. All right, our two targets on the far end. Nice tight group, two alpha, and two alpha. That's what I like to see. We got all alphas finally. All right, my first impressions of the Cox Arms Battle Break on our Frontline 16, it's loud. It's, it's obnoxiously loud. A lot louder than the uh, flash hider that came on it from Anderson. Um, now, as far as the front line goes, this, this gun is a very smooth shooting rifle. I like the buffer system that Anderson uses in this. With that being said, this gun feels different today with the battle break on here. I have always really enjoyed shooting this rifle since I got it. We're well over 700 rounds through it now, but, uh, it feels even more smooth now with the battle break. It's kind of hard to explain, but uh, there's definitely something going on here with the battle break on the Frontline 16. All right, here we go. Target on the right, Alpha Charlie. Two alpha, two alpha, two alpha. All right, now our target's on the far end. Two alpha, nice tight little group right there. And two alpha. Pretty sad when you can shoot the further targets better than you can shoot the short ones. First target on the right. Somebody forgot to paste up these two. Wonder who that could be. 
Uh, we've got three Alpha and a Charlie on here. I'm not sure if we had an Alpha Charlie or two Alpha. Have to go back and look at the footage before. Next target, we definitely had two Alpha because we got four Alphas on target. All right, target on the left. Two in the same hole. Right there and right there. And the next target, Alpha Charlie. All right, our target's at the far end of the bay. Two Alpha. And two Alpha. All right, we got quite a few rounds on this now, and let's go over a couple things. Um, you know, I said before in the beginning, this Frontline 16 has always been a very smooth shooting rifle, um, but this has added even more to that. Um, it, it's hard to explain to you the felt recoil that I'm feeling on this, but I don't know, man. This gun is just, it runs so smooth with this brake and the buffer system and everything. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Now, I do want to show you here, we are getting a lot of carbon and buildup out here. Uh, if you can see on the Monstrum Arc Saber light there, the lens is almost black on it. Um, it still works for all you people that keep asking me how reliable this light is. This light is very reliable. We got a lot of rounds through this gun with this light on it now, but uh, just kind of wanted to give you an idea there. Um, you know, that carbon is, it's all the way back to here on the light. We're getting a lot right through here. So uh, just something I wanted to throw out there at you, but uh, just something to keep in mind. But so far, this is a badass break. My final thoughts on the Cox Arms Battle Break, um, man, this this is an awesome addition. Uh, we're talking 80 beans for it. A little more expensive than some other breaks, but cheaper than other ones I've seen out there. Uh, as far as the Frontline 16 goes in this break, uh, this is the perfect combination. Um, I would almost like to see Anderson and Cox work something out here where they put these on an Anderson rifle. Uh, this just made this gun. Th this gun was pretty much perfect the way I've got it set up. You know, I've done a lot of work to it. We got a ton of videos out on this between the trigger, getting my angled foregrip out here. I love this Arc Saber light. I mean, we're talking a 60 bean light that comes with everything, the battery, the pressure pad. I, I love this Frontline 16. It's just, it's an awesome rifle, but this was, a nice addition to it and it, it definitely works like i said as far as you know getting back on target faster i felt a little bit faster today than i have in the other videos i've shot with this but uh yeah i there's really nothing bad to say about it this break works and uh like i said at the very beginning of the video i'm going to link that in the description but go over there and check out that video from cox arms you'll actually get to see this pitted against you know seven or eight other breaks um but yeah i highly recommend it you know if you already have a frontline 16 drop another 80 beans grab you one of these you'll you'll be glad you did um and I'm sure that it's going to work good with any other rifle. Now, Cox Arms did send this break out to the channel, and uh, I really believe in what they're doing over there. Um, if you guys have been following the channel, I did a review on Matt's Cox Arms Guardian, which that's Cox's top end, top tier rifle, whatever you want to call it. And that was probably one of the nicest ARs I ever shot, if not the best AR I ever shot. And, uh, you know, they're made in Arizona. A uh, guy really takes pride in what he's doing. And uh, 
I'll give you guys a little spoiler. We actually have the Cox Arms EMR1 at the house. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And if you already are, stay tuned because uh, from what I can tell, this is one awesome rifle and it's gonna make for a really good video. But I wanna thank Cox Arms for sending this out to the channel. I wanna thank him for sending the EMR1 to the channel. I'm um, really looking forward to working with Michael in the future. And uh, this muzzle brake, get yourself one. This is one badass muzzle brake. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.